Hello everyone. In today's session, we will be solving two parts of the previous year questions. Let's start with the part B. We are having two solenoids. First solenoid is having the 500 turns. Second solenoid is having 800 turns, and they are placed coaxially close to each other. The current of 5 ampere is flowing through the first solenoid. That is, I1 is equal to 5 ampere. The flux is 200 micro Weber and through the second the flux is 100 micro Weber so we have to find out the self inductance of the first solenoid that is L1 and we have to find out the mutual inductance of the two solenoids so we have to find out these two parameters so let's start so first we will find out the self inductance of first solenoid so we are given this n1 as 500 and this i1 current is 5 ampere and this average flux 200 micro vivo so the total flux will be ni phi 1 which is equal to l into i because the flux the total flux is directly proportional to the current flowing through it so we can write this this is the phi total this is equal to l i so let's solve let's put all the values the phi total will be equal to n1 into phi1 this n1 is 500 phi1 is 200 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 because of the micro part and this is equal to l into current is 5 ampere this is the self inductance of the first coil so this will become this 10 raised to the power 5 minus 6 and this is divided by 5 L1 so this comes out to be 2 into 10 raised to power minus 2 Henry so this is the self inductance of the first solenoid let's find out the mutual inductance of the two solenoids mutual inductance of the two solenoids means the phi 2 total the flux through the second coil is equal to mutual inductance into the current flowing through the first coil so this total will be equal to n2 phi 2 the total number of turns in the second solenoid and into its average flux this is the mutual inductance and this, so this is the current flowing through the first solenoid because of which there is a magnetic flux in the second coil so let's put out the values so n2 we are given as 800 and the phi2 is 100 micro weaver so this is 800 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 this is the total flux through the second coil and this is the mutual inductance and divided by the current that is 5 so we get 8 by 5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 which comes out to be this is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 2 Henry so this is the value of the mutual inductance so let's start with a second question so in the next part we are given a star which is receding which is moving away from the earth with a speed of 3000 km per second that is the speed is 3 into 10 raised to power 6 meter per second so in emitting a spectral line of wavelength 656.1 nanometer so this is a question of Doppler effect so there is a relative motion between observer and the source 
so there will be change in the frequency or wavelength so here the velocity of recession that is it's moving far away from the earth is 3 into 10 raised to power 6 meter per second and we are given the wavelength the emission wavelength of 656.1 nanometer because of the Doppler effect we will see the change in wavelength because there is a relative motion between the source and the observer so let's find this delta lambda which is equal to this fractional change in the wavelength will be equal to the ratio of the velocity with respect to the speed of light so, so this ratio of velocity of recession over the speed of light will tell us how much there is a change in the wavelength because we are in the visible spectra so this is 3 into 10 raised to power 6 and this the speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 so we will solve this this is 10 raised to power minus 2 so the delta lambda will be equal to lambda into 10 raised to power minus 2 so lambda we are given with 6.1 into 10 raised to power minus 2 nanometer so this will be 6.561 into 1 nanometer this is a change when when our star is receding away suppose this is our earth there is a star which is moving away from the earth so in this case the velocity will be taken as positive to be positive which means our lambda is increasing so this means this is a red shift it is so similarly if so there's a star which is moving towards the earth we will take this as negative and this in this case the lambda will decrease and because our lambda is moving towards the lower wavelengths so we will call these types of shift as blue shift so so in this case we are having the recession so this shift is this is a red shift because we have to add this this change so our observed wavelength will become lambda plus delta lambda so the 656.1 plus 6.561 nanometer this will comes out to be 66. So this is our observed wavelength in this case. So this is a solution for this part. And if you have any doubts related to this topic, you can write me in the comment box. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching this video.